Welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. Well, there's a little jingle in this jungle this time of year, and the Fox 43 AM Live team gets to show us why. Yeah, here's a look behind the business at Jungle House. Oh, hi. Welcome to Jungle House. My name is Rachel Guffey and I co-own this store with my husband Jamie. Um, we opened this store to specialize in house plants, so we carry the tropicals and the harder to find plants. Um, during the month of December we transform this store into Jingle House um, and so we start to carry a lot more holiday goods, things for your house, and we do special holiday events this time of year. We're obsessed with the holidays and so that's what we love to do here in December. So we uh, specialize in house plants, both tropical and arid plants like your cactus and your succulents. Um, we started this business because I had a house plant problem and we were driving to Kansas City pretty often to find the selection that I wanted. And my husband who loves entrepreneurship had the idea that maybe we should open our own house plant store. Um, and so we actually started by selling a lot of my own collection um, and then we expanded into a wider variety. We have everything from little tiny two inch plants that are so cute and adorable, all the way up to really giant tall ones that are bigger than me. Um, and so what gets really exciting is when people come in looking for things for hotels and businesses and things like that. And we can really accommodate that with some of the larger plants that you might not be able to find at some different um, like big box stores. had our four-year birthday in November um, and so we've been open officially for four years. We had kind of a side business out of our house before that just selling houseplant accessories um, but our brick and mortar has been open here for four years. I literally had a jungle house. Um, my friends would come over and they were like ducking in between plants to get into my living room. Uh, you had to part the seas to set down. Then so um, they started calling my house the jungle house. And so when we decided to open, we just moved my jungle house to this house here. <laughs> So I'm really proud of myself. I've always struggled to keep the ficus family alive. Um, these plants fiddly fig, I've always really struggled to keep them alive in my house. I finally figured it out. Um, and so I feel like really proud that that's one I can keep alive now. Um, a lot of house plant collectors know that that's a trickier one. Um, so I think I have to lean on my fiddly fig right now. I love it. Trial and error. I think that's how most people with green thumbs have learned. Um, I learned by bringing home one of almost everything and I killed it probably at least once and I learned what not to do. And so I think not being afraid of failing and being able to just try again is really important. Um, the internet obviously is a really great um, tool to figure out. Also coming in here, people will bring in their really sad plants and just be like, what's wrong? and I'm more than happy to help diagnose and help them. Typically, it's an issue with watering or light, and so those are really easy things to fix, but don't be afraid to try and maybe kill a thing or two. People have called and said, can you bring plants to my wedding? We'll make it happen. Um, we'll definitely make it happen, people. Businesses will come in and want a bunch of plants. We'll make it happen. Um, we've done some birthday parties. We'll put together little pre-potted options for table settings. Um, we pretty much make it happen if it sounds fun and exciting to us and it's something we can make it, make it happen for them. Twenty twenty um, during the pandemic time is actually, while it was an extremely sad and difficult time, was also one of my favorite memories. Um, we decided to close down the business. I think it was March thirteenth, twenty twenty. We didn't have a website. Um, my husband was like, "We need a website," so we went home that night and built a website all overnight. And we put up pictures of every plant in here, and the community showed up for us. They were ordering. We were delivering things to their door, doing a knock and leave it on their porch. Um, and so the community really rallied behind us. Um, and so that has got to be my favorite memory at all. It's so touching to me that they really stood behind us to keep our business open and running um, and keep our staff employed. Um, so that's, that will always be my favorite memory. Yeah.